Good morning, viewers. Good morning, family. Good morning, brothers and sisters. I welcome you to yet another exciting moment in the presence of God with our daily Dynamite Youth Devotional, a Church of Nigeria Daily Guide. We are here this morning to receive from God, to draw from the fountain of life. We ask that God will bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Bless your word in our heart, Holy Spirit divine. Teach us and do what you alone can do in our lives. Bless the people that are watching and help them in their journey of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today, the seventh day of August 2023, our text will be taken from the book of Luke chapter 9 from verse 28 to 36. Luke chapter 9 from verse 28 to 36, I read to your hearing. And it came to pass about an eight, eight days after this said, he took Peter and John and James and went up into the, a mountain to pray. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering. And behold, there talked with him two men, which were Moses and Eli Elias, who appeared in glory and spoke of his disease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with that sleep and when they were awake they saw his glory and the two men stood that stood with him and it came to pass as they departed from him peter said unto him master it is good for us to be here and let us make three tabernacles one for thee and one for moses and one for Elias, not knowing what he said while he thus spoke, there came a cloud and overshadowed them, and they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved servant, hear him. And when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone, and they kept it close and told no one, no man in those days, anyone, any of these things which they had seen. May God bless his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Our anchor verse will be taken from verse 29. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering. As he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered. Something happened to him while he was praying. Um, our topic this morning says mountain experience mountain experience this one is another exciting topic that we are looking at this morning mountain experience for those of you that have been going from place to place seeking god giving yourself to consecration praying i trust you will understand what we are looking at this morning and for those of you that don't know what we are talking about i also trust god this morning that from today you will make a decision that you will also have your own mountain experience. It is something that truly money can never buy it. Money can never buy the mountain experience. No matter how much you have, sir, no matter how much you have, ma, it can never be traded for the mountain experience. It is something that only God can give to those that are hungry for him praise the lord truly there are particular there are particular definitions for this experience but i have some things that i wrote down there are different particular or different kind of definitions or if you will different forms of definition for this particular thing but there are like three i wrote down that i want to share with us that will help us when you talk about mountain experience these are this uh, mountain are where visions are bettered mountain are where destinies are transformed the mountain experience are where divinity encounters humanity when you look at these three uh, 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 keys that we have i have mentioned you see that you must fall into one of these categories if you must live in this experience when you talk to men and women that have gone ahead of us they will tell you at a point in time in their life they had their own mountain experience and their life 
was transformed from where they were and can support to a higher level. That is where visions are better. That is where visions are better. On the mountain experience, these are where vision. This is where visions are better. This is where destinies are transformed. The Bible says that uh, 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 Jacob, Jacob, that was called Israel, Jacob was left alone. Jacob was left alone. And at that point, there was a wrestle. And he encountered divinity. And his life was transformed. What about Jabez? What about Jabez? The man that was full of failures. But he sought the Lord. And the Lord transformed his life. And Jabez became a mighty man. This morning, we are looking at mountain experience. We are talking about how lives have been transformed for God. We are looking at men that are hungry for God and pursue God with everything they have. Child of God, the reason why it looks as if God is far from you is because you have not given your all. It's because you are still depending on something. Child of God, hear me. When you depend on a man or when you have something you rest your back on, God could be far from you because God can never share his glory with any man. Once you remove yourself from that thing you are depending on and come to God for a mountain experience, your life can never remain the same. Look at Moses in the day in the book of Exodus when it was time for the children of Israel to move in their move in their days of in their period or season of Exodus, God called Moses to the mountain. And we know what happened because from the level where Moses was operating, the Bible says that when he finished speaking with God, he was filled with his countenance. God's glory began to radiate around Moses. But yet, something remarkable happened on that mountain. I want you to note it. The Bible says that there was a great noise in the camp of the children of Israel. And when Moses was coming down, Joshua was telling Moses, something else but moses said no joshua i have a higher information i have a higher information i have a higher revelation this is not what is happening these people are far from their god and when they went down it was exactly what moses was saying so you see that the dimension on the mountain where moses was was higher than joshua so the more higher you go the more deeper you go with God. The more deeper encounters you receive. Let us look at what happened to Jesus in the, in the Mount of Transfiguration. The Bible talked about in the book of Genesis, God said that when God was talking about creation, doing what he was doing, the Bible said that God called the heaven and the earth to bear him witness of what he was doing. And now it was time for a new race of humans to come. And there need to be an encounter because a counter must always precede the movements of divinity. And when we saw, we saw what happened, Jesus was visited by Moses and by, and by Elijah. The Bible says, make us understand that Moses was representing the law and Elijah was representing the prophet. But what about the cloud that came upon them? The cloud of witness. The cloud of what about that cloud? There are witnesses. God brought witnesses. To witness to the fact that a new race is about to come forth. Jesus was about to initiate or introduce something new that the world had never seen. That a man will carry the eternal creator inside of him for the first time in the history of man. It was something glorious to behold. So there needed to be witnesses that we stand and witness to this effect that there is a fact or that it is a validity. Sorry, it is valid or it will show the validity of what Jesus had done. Praise the Lord. So we are looking at Jesus, his, 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 his ministry, the, the advantage that the encounter or the mountain experience gave to him. The advantage. Child of God, you cannot live successfully, you cannot live victoriously without a mountain experience. You cannot live above sin. 
You cannot live above satanic oppressions without your own mountain experience. It is something that your pastor cannot give to you. It is something that your teacher, your apostle cannot give to you. It is something that men cannot give to you. Men can only lead you to the path. But no man can give you this experience. Only God. And that is why you need to draw near to this God. That is why you need to come close to this God. So that he will give you your own mountain experience. And I trust God this morning that as you draw close to God, that God will give you your own experience. It needs deeper consecration. It needs deeper, deeper consecration for you to have that experience. These experiences do not just fall from heaven, child of God. Brothers, it does not fall from heaven. You cannot be in that place where you are drinking and smoking and be expecting that mountain experience. It doesn't work like that. You cannot be in the hotel, daughter of Zion. You cannot be in the hotel sleeping with men from bed to bed and expect such as well. It doesn't work that way. The devil is cheating you of this glorious encounter because the devil knows that when you experience this mountain experience, when you receive it from God, that the devil himself is in trouble. So he will do everything possible to make sure he keeps you away from this revelation. But I pray for you, child of God, this morning, today, the seventh day of August, 2023, that from today, that heaven will meet you in that place where you are and encounter your life, that your life will become meaningful. May God give your life a meaning. There is an encounter that can change your life. There is an encounter that can make you a better person. You are better than what you see about your life. You might be in the prison, no matter a different form of prison. You can be in the prison created or made by the government, by society. You can be in prison of addiction. You can be in prison of one habit or the other, one thing or the other. But Jesus is coming to you this morning with his word. You need a mountain experience for yourself. And it can only come when you decide from your heart that you require or you desire a mountain experience. Let us look at our food for thoughts. Now it was so, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. He did not know. You see what the encounter does? The encounter transforms a man. The encounter transforms a man. While Jesus was praying, he, he was transformed. The, his, the, his countenance was altered. And his cloak began to shine. He began, he started shining. There is something about the, ex, the encounters of God. There is something about the experiences of God. Child of God, listen, let me tell you the truth. One encounter with God can, can, that is, you can enjoy it for many years, for even the rest of your life. One encounter with God. You don't know what you are losing. You don't know what you are lacking. You don't know what you are missing. What is it when you go out, you go to club, you go to smoke, at the end of the day, you return back to square zero. All those things are what the devil has used to becloud you, your, your, your sense of reasoning, so that you will not see the reality of life. There is no life in such things. Every day, you continue like that. Addictions. Look at our society. Young people moving down every day into addictions. Young girls moving down into prostitution and, and sex slavery, living like animals. Ah, how can we say that this is a lie? This is not life. The devil has subjected them to that kind of life. It is not the will of God because they do not have a mountain experience. Child of God, you cannot have a mountain experience and remain the same. It is not possible. It is not possible for, how, for you to have a mountain experience and remain the same. The Bible says, test and see that the Lord is good. And when you test and see the goodness of God, you cannot go back because there is nothing that the devil can give to you that Jesus will not give you and give you in a very, very joyful and happy mood. I pray for you, child of God, that the mon the, the, this morning's word will come directly into your heart, that any seed, any stone 
that the enemy has placed on your heart that the hand of god will remove that stone this morning so that the word of god will penetrate into your heart and show you that these things are nothing before god see what happened peter was even surprised peter said peter was taken in that glory he said ah lord he said master let us build tabernacle for you for you for you. and Jesus, the voice said mm -mm -mm -mm, it is not now this one is just a preamble an introduction to what you will see in the later days to come this one is just an introduction the glory that has been made manifest for us as people of god as children of god there is a glory that has been made manifest for you child of god and this glory will come from your mountain experience it will come when you give yourself that father i give myself to you and you seek god and your mountain experience will not remain the same i pray for you this morning that god will visit you and god will reach out to you this morning to snatch you away from the hands of the enemy in the name of jesus christ our prayer this morning is lord please help my prayer life let it be always filled with the glory of your presence help my prayer life one of the most one of the things that a lot of young people find difficult to do is prayer a lot of young people find it difficult to pray and child of god hear me if you don't give yourself to prayer how can you receive the mountain experience we just saw from where we read in the book of luke chapter 9 how jesus uh, he, he, his, how his fashion was altered because he gave himself to prayer because there was a, a, a there was a need for him to press into the place of prayer child of god i pray for you this morning that in the mercy of god or through the mercy of god that god will reach out to you wherever you are hearing my voice from this morning if you are down in any area if you are bound by any satanic addiction if you are bound by the chains of the devil dragging you to hell any power that is drawing you away from christ not to have this mountain experience i pray for you this morning that the hand of god will reach out to you and snatch you out from the hands of satan that from today the seventh day of august 2023 you will begin to encounter god in strange dimension your own mountain experience will begin to come you will encounter god and your life will never remain the same god will give you new visions god will give you new programs god will give you new directions that will help you and move your life to another level i trust god this morning that god will take you into another higher dimension of your life in jesus name we pray amen god bless you i hope you are blessed by the word join us tomorrow on the daily dynamite